What do we got here? We have a Piper M600 single engine turboprop. And this is my very fast golf cart. Golf course architects tend to get around, but few get around like David McClay Kidd. Good shot. We're with him at Gamble Sands in far off the beaten path eastern Washington state, ranked number 100 on golf's new list of top 100 courses in the U.S. McClay Kidd's work has been a fixture in the rankings, starting with Bandon Dunes on the Oregon coast, but also with courses like Nenea in Hawaii and Mammoth Dunes in Wisconsin, among others on this continent and overseas. McClay Kidd's designs are known for favoring the ground game, but a lot of his hours are spent at higher elevation. So I can get from here on the west coast to Nebraska, where we're gonna visit Graybull uh, in about three hours and 20 minutes. And it is 1600 miles, something like that. So an awful lot faster than commercial. Uh, and we'll be sipping our Starbucks in probably 30 minutes at 30,000 feet going almost half the speed of sound. So. She goes quick. Who's flying this thing? Uh, that would be me. This is called single pilot operation, so there's no backup pilot. So Josh on the other end of this camera better make sure that I'm uh, feeling good today. <laughs> Get him nice and caffeinated. <laughs> we started our trip at yet another of McClay Kid's courses, Tethero, in his adoptive home of Bend, Oregon. It's a walkable track, but there's nothing wrong with alternate modes of transport. Our next stop was Grable in the Sandhills of Nebraska. All bouncy turf, boundless views, and subtle breaks. Built by McClay Kidd for the private Dormy Network. We got our hacks in, and then we got going yet again. West over the Rockies, towards the Cascades, and down into a valley that could have passed for an agrarian postcard. All of the land around, thousands and thousands of acres, is owned by the Gebers family. They're an uh, orchard family. They grow apples and cherries. They're one of the biggest in the world. Ridiculously tasty, aren't they? We are at Gamble Sands, Brewster, Washington. We've just finished grassing the second course here. The, this place has been begging for a second course for a decade, and we were lucky enough to get this designed and get it under construction in the last two summers. And we finished grassing in the last few weeks and it will open next year. I first came here in 2008 and looked at the land and maybe I should look back to my own genesis at Bandon Dunes and why Bandon Dunes is so enduring, so loved. Uh, and I really took Bandon Dunes and the other courses apart, uh, broke them into their component pieces and tried to figure out why they're so loved and then tried to put all those pieces back together in building Gamble Sands, trying to create wide playing corridors, uh, aggressive scoring lines, but a lot of opportunity to recover if you make a mistake. Uh, and that along with a lot of other nuance created a golf course that's just super, super fun to play. It's very playable. Errors are not in your pocket chin on your chest walking off you know there you might be able to recover and that keeps your chin up uh, scoring is still not terribly easy it's not like I'm just giving you birdies uh, but I'm probably trying to help you not make double bogeys so we built that it was really successful the views on the second course you know it's it's often the case that the first course sucks up all the best land uh, and the second course starts to work on weaker and weaker parcels here at Gamble Sands, this parcel was the parcel I originally wanted to build on, but there was a big power line through it and the family didn't want to pay the electric company the pretty steep check it cost to, to move the power lines out. On the heels of the success of the first course, we were able to move all the impediments out of the way and actually get what I believed was the better site and build on it. Uh, it has better topography and much bigger views. Hard to believe because the first one's got some big views, but this one, you know, is pretty stunning. Mike Kaiser said to me once, if you can find a compelling landscape anywhere in America and build good golf, it will succeed. And this is kind of the poster child for that. 